This lesson overviews how to export video. This can be done with search results, bookmarks, snapshots, or directly from the export tab. Within ACC software, you can export images and videos in multiple formats, making it easy to share evidence with a third party. For example, you can send an insurance company video of a car accident. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. As you investigate footage, you can queue a video or a snapshot that you want to export. Then select the required cameras and time range. This feature allows you to export video from different combinations of cameras and different time ranges as one export file. You can modify the time range by using the various fields in the highlighted area or by dragging the time range markers. Then click the highlighted button. To export the video, first click the highlighted button. Then click the highlighted button. Export files can contain several clips and images from your investigation. Select a video or image that you have added to the queue. A variety of export formats are listed in the drop-down menu. You can export the video in either native or AVI format. AVI is a common video format that can be played in standard media software, like Windows Media Player. The native format allows you to export video from multiple cameras in a single file and retain their original compression. The native format also includes the original video metadata so you can search the exported video, including video analytics data. This format is played in the Avigilon player, where the video can be authenticated against tampering and re-exported to other formats. The native format is the recommended format for exporting video. You can also export content in non-video formats. For example, you can export a series of still images in the PNG, JPEG, or TIFF format. Or export a frame of the video as a print image or PDF file. Also, you can export an audio portion of a video as a WAV file. For more information on these formats, see the user guide. We will first look at the AVI format. Exporting to AVI allows you to export part of the video image. There are a number of unique video output features that can be adjusted. To select part of the image to export, click this button. In the dialog box, you can change the region by dragging and resizing the green overlay area. Then, click here. Note that AVI video cannot be authenticated and it takes longer to export. The AVI format is also more compressed than the native format and therefore has a lower image quality. We will now take a look at exporting in native format. The native format is a better option since it can be authenticated to prevent tampering and has better detail. If you export in native format, you can use a Vigilon player software to re-export the clip later in AVI format if required. You can also control the export image rate. Similar to AVI format, click here to export smaller files for storing on a flash drive or on optical media. The native format allows you to password protect your export file. To do this, first select the highlighted checkbox, enter a password in the highlighted field, and then confirm it. A password that reaches the green level of strength in the highlighted area is better protected and more difficult for unauthorized users to guess. When the file is opened in a Vigilon player, users will be prompted to enter the password and will open the file when correctly inputted. Note that the password protecting your file is optional and not required when exporting in the native format. If you want to include a copy of the Avigilant player with your export, you select this checkbox. If you want to add another video clip to the export, click here. You can then export the video to a local file or to a disk. If you decide to burn a disk, the Avigilant player export option will be automatically disabled. You must then name the file and choose a location. In this case, the file name and path have been selected. Once you've chosen your export destination, click here to save. The file has now been saved to the desktop. Because we exported the video with the Avigilon Player program, we can use the player to view the export. A shortcut should appear on the desktop. Double-click it to launch the Avigilon Player program. The Avigilon Player program loads. Open the exported video by clicking here. Browse for, select, and open the exported video. In this demonstration, we have selected this file. We will click here to open it. The exported video loads. As video plays, 
the player automatically skips through white areas on the timeline with no recorded content. If you're using this layout mode, the view automatically displays video from all the cameras with recorded content at the same point on the timeline. As each recorded video segment ends, the view hides the video that is not playing. To sum up, in this lesson, you learned about how to export in AVI and native format, along with a number of non-video formats such as PNGs and JPEGs for still images. The native format is a better option since it can be authenticated to prevent tampering and has better detail. In the native format option, the ADD clip feature allows you to export video from different combinations of cameras and different time ranges as one export file. Ensure you have the ACC Player program installed to view video in the native format.